So welcome to Technoday Life and my name is Jeff and today what we're going to be doing is showing you Vento which is a tool that allows you to boot from multiple disk images without extracting them. So stick around and we'll show you more. Before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and if you could give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful it really helps out the channel a lot. Ventoy is a tool that allows you to create bootable USB drives with image, multiple image files such as ISO, Vim image, VHD, and EFI files. You can use Ventoy to boot from any of these files without extracting them, which saves you a bunch of time. Ventoy also supports browsing and booting from local disks such as hard drives or SSD, and it supports multiple image files such as, in our case, Linux and Windows. Ventoy is also compatible with most operating systems including Windows, Linux, Unix, Chrome OS, VMware, and Zen. And it's been tested on over a thousand images and over 90% of the distros on DistroWatch. So to use Ventoy you need a USB drive of at least uh, 8 gigabytes. Uh, I have a 64 gigabyte one to put as many ISOs as on there as I can. Uh, you can download Ventoy from its official site, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So on their page, go to Downloads, and then download the latest zip file. So they basically have it for Windows, Linux, and they have a live Linux CD. So once that is downloaded, go to your Downloads folder, find your Ventoy, and then right-click it, then Extract All. So once that's extracted, it will open the Ventoy folder. And so you go inside of that, double click it. So once that's open, what we need to do is insert our USB drive into our computer. Then select the Ventoy to disk. And there's a couple other things on here. These are to customize your Ventoy install, but we're not going to do that today. Double click that. Yes. And assuming you already have a flash drive installed, uh, if you haven't put it in right now, it will show up right here, or I'll give you a list right there. Then we're going to click install, and yes, yes, a couple times. That will install it. You can have a sip of coffee while that's happening. Once that's done, click OK, and exit that. Now if we go over to my PC, now we have a Ventoy disk. So basically what has happened is that the Ventoy software has created a separate partition for itself and then it's just left free space where you can place uh, ISOs that we want to reboot with. So let's do that right now. So I have this handy folder of Linux ISOs right here and we can open up that. And so we'll just grab a few and drop them in there. And while those are co copying over, you can get another cup of coffee. So once that's done, what we can do is restart our computer and try it out. And so when we restart, we need to press either escape, delete, F12, F10, F9, depending on your uh, server or your computer to get into your BIOS. So then we can boot from the USB. So for this computer, it is escape I think so we'll have to see in a second okay so this computer doesn't have a separate boot menu so we have to go to boots and then boots let's see if I, we're going to go down here and so for our starting one we'll just hit enter and then we'll put our Samsung Drive and go up to exits and save changes and reset. So now we'll boot directly into our USB drive. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so once that has rebooted, you will be taken to this screen and there's the five distros that we just installed right now. It just took about three and a half minutes to get it in there. 
So let's start one, see what happens. So we'll go to the Ubuntu Mate desktop, we'll hit enter. And then boot in normal mode. So that starts up the normal Ubuntu boot process. And then we're going to just click try Ubuntu. And this is just to show you how the desktop works booting from the USB drive. And so now if we go over here, we can see everything seems to work. We'll open up a terminal and there we are in Butu Mate live. So this makes it really handy to do uh, work to fix either disks or prepare things to get ready for installation. So you don't have to uh, get different ISOs. You can just make a USB that has all your rescue tools on it for Windows and Linux, and then you can do whatever rescue you need. And if you need to reinstall, you can have your Windows or Linux ISOs on there already and just boot from that. So a very handy tool if you need to fix things or like installing lots of different operating systems like me.